Okay, hello everyone. This is my YouTube channel Light Engineer. Today I am going to explain you the inverted pendulum using fuzzy logic. Basically, to explain this inverted pendulum, I will just tell you they are. Uh, I have input. I have output. Input in this case, I am taking as my error. See, this is my error and change in error. This is my two inputs. Okay, and this is my current. In this condition, which I have taken, I have taken current as my output. But actually, when we consider our inverted pendulum, which is uh, totally hanging over my uh, some uh, cart you can say this instead of current I can take this as my speed or velocity also but in this condition I have taken as my current and error and change in error is my two input in this condition if I want to establish this inverted pendulum I have to write a lengthy code MATLAB code but using fuzzy logic fuzzy logic it's a uh, very easy when we try to implement this in MATLAB fuzzy uh, blocks is there okay so let's see how we can implement this so basically I am telling you in detail uh, like we have inputs like error and change in error I have considered two inputs and one output what I am considering some rules so basically before implementing the fuzzy I know I should know what are my rules like uh, if uh, I say ki, uh, error is zero and uh, change in error is also zero then nothing should happen because cart is stationary and my the pendulum is also stationary so uh, it should not move if by chance my change in error is little so it should move According to that, like if my change is more, cart should also move more so that it should automatically come to the steady state position. That is a logic. On the basis of that only, I have decided some rules. It's our wish how we deal these rules. So this rules only I have defined. Zero, zero. Like I will just give one more example. Uh, zero and uh, negative small. If I give zero and negative small, then my card should be positive small because if it is going in a positive direction, the card should also go in a positive direction to make it stable. Fine. These rules all I have defined. Now, how to solve this? I will tell you in steps. Then we will go to our MATLAB function. Okay. Type fuzzy in our command window. Okay. I will type there fuzzy and then some fuzzy logic designer will open by the MATLAB. In that, uh, it will open one input. How it will open one input? I will show you later on and I will just explain this step in MATLAB also. What I am getting, fuzzy output, uh, results, what I am getting, see, this is my first input, which is my error, like I already told you, I have two inputs, error and change in error, okay, first input is my error, see here error is there, change in error, here it is there, and this is my output, which I have defined, range also, this see, this range, this range, I have, I have defined, okay, and this range of error, this also I have defined, and this is our wish, how range we want, we can define from that only, Negative minimum, negative small, uh, zero, positive small, positive medium. Uh, this all we can define. Okay, this is our upgrading manually. Uh, when we get output, we can upgrade these values manually. This red line is there. We can upgrade this manually so that our output is varied. And this visualization which we are going to see. Visualization in 2D plot also we are going to see in this. And this is my editor window code. What I will get. Uh, this is my name, Mayan. So I have made a block. Uh, Mandani block as a name as Mayan. That's why this name is coming Mayan. So what I method I used all is mentioned here. Uh, one minute. Uh, all methods are mentioned here. Defazication method which I have used here is centroid method. So everything is there and uh, like here rules is there. I have total 25 rules. Why? Because I have defined 5 cross 5 metrics. Which I have already shown 5 cross 5 metrics. This 5 cross 5. So 25 rules I have to define in Mat MATLAB. So let's see how to implement this in MATLAB. So here this is my window. In command window, I have to type here fuzzy. Let's wait for some time. Some window will pop up. Yeah, this window has pop up. In this, I will get one input. As I already told you in steps, which we were I were discussing with you, that I told you I will discuss in MATLAB. I will type fuzzy. Some fuzzy logic designer will open with one input. Now, what is my system which I have considered is my error and change in error. Okay. So change in error and error, now this I have only one input and I need my two inputs. So what I will do is my add, add a variable. What I need? I need one more input, I will add one more variable. That is my error or change in error. Now I have to change this name. It is input 1. Now I will go to name. Here I will type error. Fine. Now I will click on second input and I will type this as change in error. Change in error. Click anywhere on the screen, it will type the name change in error. Fine. So now what we have to do is see this all have automatically established like and method is minimum, all method is maximum, implementation is minimum, aggression is maximum, and defacification method which we are using in this case 
is my centroid method. So we can change according to our wish what's our uh, defalsification method we want. I, I want the centroid method, so I will remain this as it is. So next one, I will click here and then this block will come fine. Now I have to define this membership function of this. So automatically some membership function my system MATLAB has already established. I don't want this. Okay, I want my own membership function what I want. So I will just do remove all membership function. Now I will do here add membership function. I already told you how I am uh, trying to define is my 5 membership functions. Total I have 5. Like negative minimum, 0, positive medium, uh, like this I have 5. Okay, like this I have shown you. This 5. Mm, so I will type here 5. Okay, wait for some time it will uh, see it came 5. Now I have to change this accordingly. Like here, I have to define uh, negative medium, negative small and so on. All parameters I have to define. So I will define here negative medium. Just click on next. Negative small. Zero. Positive small. And positive medium. Fine. So I have established this. Uh, it's changed. Fine. So now uh, think come how to change my range, which is my uh, x-axis. You can say this is my range. So I have to change my range. How to change? See here, range option is coming. So in range, I what I was uh, thinking, I will set this to minus thirty to thirty my error and minus ten to ten my change in error. So first of all, I am considering my error. So I will take here minus thirty to thirty. Fine. So this is automatically change. Fine. It has automatically automatically change. By chance, if my uh, like if I see negative medium, if I automatically change, so I can change this value from here also. So it is defining from where my peak is there. Like my on my my negative thirty, my peak is there. Minus forty five, it is starting, and minus fifteen, it is ending. How I will show you. Let us consider this zero one. It is easier to understand. See parameters. Minus fifteen, it is starting from minus fifteen. Peak on zero. On zero, it is in peak and fifteen. By chance, if it is getting distorted, we can set this range from here also. So this is my first membership function for error. Now we can change this membership function for my change in error also. Fine. I'll remove all my membership function. Add it. Add my membership function. Here I have my five membership function. Okay. So this is my uh, change in membership function. Fine. Uh, now it's our wish how we want. Uh, like type is also there. If I want Gaussian. I can change this to Gaussian, but no, I want this uh, previous one only. Oh, wait, wait, what happened? Ha, huh, this. My previous one only, it's correct now, huh? first one, ha, huh, it's fine. If I want to change this uh, Gaussian, so I can change this from here, that I already told you, it will change Gaussian. But I don't want, I will just change to trim F, trim F. Fine. Now I have to set this range from minus 10 to 10. Let's change this minus 10 to 10, minus 10 to positive 10. I will do just I click anywhere. This minus 10 to 10 degree per seconds. Uh, how many degrees it is changing uh, per seconds? This is my change in error. Now, according to this, uh, I will again define this. Uh, what I already told you negative medium, negative small, zero, and I'll again define this. Let me define this. Positive medium. It's correct, na? Huh? Yeah, hundred percent correct. Fine. Uh, now I have defined this my input. Now what I have to do is I have to define my output also. I have membership function input. I have membership function output. So I have defined my input. Now I have to define my output. Let's uh, do the same process. Delete it all and add the membership function. How much I need? I need five. In this, uh, what I have considered is my minus ten to ten again. So I'll just take here. I'll do it a little faster. No, it's it has already opened error, so I have to go here in my output. We have to see where red is there. Minus 10 to plus 10. So I'll click anywhere on the screen, it will change its uh, settings. And now I have to set the range uh, already set. So here I will set is negative medium, negative small, 0, 0. Positive small. Here is my positive medium. Fine. So I have considered this all uh, input and output. Now what I have to do is my defining the rules. See, let's see steps. What we are going to follow. These are my steps. First one I have done. Second.
second one defining the input and output and edit all the variables i have done set the input outputs i have done now adjust the membership function that also I have done means four step i have already completed now this is step number four define the rules with the rule editor so how to do that let's see this was my that case so in that uh, now i will define the rules now i will go to edit i will say, uh, go to rules now this is the main thing i have taken five cross five means 25 rules i have to define now what are the rules i will just see one time see nm nm and pm negative medium negative medium positive medium okay fine negative medium negative medium i will consider this as positive medium fine i will add this rule uh, i have considered this two times so let me delete one rule see this, this one rule came okay uh, next one is my negative medium negative small positive small negative medium negative small positive small fine add this rule like this i have to add all the rules fine when we add all the rules uh, let me tell you after adding this rule okay so finally we have defined our 25 rules so now let me close it see all rules i have defined whatever i have shown here in my this window whatever rules is there similar method i have used and define all these rules fine I'll close this window now what i do i will see these rules in my figure window i have to see my graphical user interface let's see wait for some time it will open yeah it has opened so i have seen this in my graphical user interface window in this uh so one minute uh -huh. in this error is there change in error is there minimally we can set this error like i have set this minus 9.02 if my change in error is minus 2.99 what will be my output that is 3.52 means the card should move with minus 3.52 i forgot to change this output instead of output i should write this current because i have already taken this my current so i will change this later on i tell you how to change this also in input what i uh, i can change this from here see uh, input is there here i can change change this input also from here like if i want this to 2 and uh, next one i want this to be 6 and what will be my output 2 and 6 see output will be minus minus 5.12 like this manually also we can set from here with the red line also we can change to check what will be my output fine but this is only my graphical user interface now i have to see what is my 3d plot i can see this 3d plot also whether the rules which are defined that is correct or not if not correct i can change the rules also let's see i have to go to view then i have to go to surfaces Wait for some time, it will open. Ah, this is my 3D surface, okay. So you can see one surface that is floating, fine. So what I can conclude from this that my error is zero, change in error is zero. See, it is where it is zero and this is where my, this is zero. And what is my this? This is zero because the center, if we see from properly, the center is just zero only. Okay, so this point is 0, 0, 0. So we can see it is almost correct, the rules which I have set. If we want to see our 2D plot, we can also see my 2D plot. Like if I do change in error and if I change this none and error plot, this is my some plot. Okay, with error and output. Output is my current. If I do this, change in error as my output and my output curve, this is also like this. So it is almost my same rules which I have defined. That is my almost correct. Now I was saying you I can change this output uh, which I have written here to current. The same method which I already told you. So uh, let's see one more time. See this output is there. Uh, one minute sorry. Output is there. Okay. Then I will just select this. Why oh, it is rushing back. I don't know why it is going back. Okay I will just select anywhere on the screen. Uh, now select output. In this output, I have to define this name. One minute, it is not deselecting this. If this line will deselect, then automatically this output function will come here. Okay, but let's see how to change this. Edit, add a membership function. No, I don't want. Name, if I change this name, it will change here, but I want to change this here. I don't know why it is jumping here again and again. I will see one more time. I just ha ah, it came now output now I have to define here one minute again it gone 
हाँ आई थिंक इट इज नॉट सेलेक्टिंग वी कैन सेलेक्ट ओनली इन द स्टार्टिंग वेन वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस ना देन ओनली वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट दिस नेम नाउ आई ऑलरेडी डिफाइन दिस ओके लीव दिस आउटपुट नाउ आई हैव टू डू दिस सेव नाउ आई हैव टू सी दिस इन माई एडिटर विंडो ओके नाउ इन एडिटर विंडो हाउ टू सी दिस लेट सी दिस आई विल जस्ट फाइल एक्सपोर्ट टू आई विल डू दिस टू फाइल ओके टू डेस्टॉप आई सेव दिस लेट्स मेक इट demo demo1 file name dot fis file let's save this file this file is saved now how to open this file that is a main thing there are two ways to open this file if you want to open this in gui means graphical user interface or uh, in this editor window first of all i will show you how to open this in see demo demo1 uh, this one more thing is there if you save this file name Any name, like if I save save here to some like name plant. So in this demo one, instead of demo one, plant will come. Okay, I'll cross this. I want to save changes. Yes, I don't know it is automatically saved, but again it is asking. Okay, let me save it. Yes, I'll replace this. Okay, ha, huh. fine. So now here it is my window. Now I have to see here what is my uh in editor window how it will show like how many rules are there and all. So I'll go here open. Which uh, desktop I saved? Let me open all files. In this, I have file demo one. Open. Ha! Huh, it's open already. It's a little slow. See, demo one. My name was there. Type is Mamdani. This version which I am using. Number of inputs. Number of outputs. And this is all my rules. Twenty five set of rules which I have defined. Fine. So these rules are coming in object. Object code. I can change this object code also. Uh, I'll tell you how. Let me type fuzzy. It will open. Now, how to open that graphical user interface? That is also logic. I will go to file. I will import from here from file. What is my file name? Demo. I will search here demo demo one, and this will open. Okay. Ha. Huh, this will open. Now I can change from here. Like I was saying, now output. I will just change here name current because I have taken my output as current. Fine. Now this is already changed current error changing error and current. Then now it is perfectly fine. Now what I was saying you we can change our rules also. Fine. Let's see. Go to rules. In that rules, I can change these rules too. Like I will go to options. I will go to format. It is different format. Like index also we can use. Like number format it will come. It is automatically coming in index. See if you're using this, this is coming in index format. So we can change these rules from here also. Option. There's so many formats. Symbolic also it's coming. See like this also it can come. So if you want to change this format of rules, you can change from here. So thank you. This was all of this video. In this, I have defined all the functions uh, which I have used, rules, steps, how to solve, and result. What I will get? My input, my output, and my editor window code visualization. Also, we have seen. And uh, thank you so much. Some observations also I have seen that uh, this rules which I have defined that is correct according to my 3D plot which I have seen. The 3D plot because and zero zero I am getting zero. I have just checked one condition. Similarly, we can check so many conditions from here. So thank you, thank you for watching.